Altes, the name that means topmost quality in ice cream, milk, and other dairy products, presents Burr Tilsma, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Yes, I know it. Well, I know, cleaning and dusting and working so hard. Well, people have missed you. I know it's all very well to take care of the things that you're responsible for around here, but I think you just owe it to us to pay us a little more attention and visit with us a little bit more. Did you know that Warren Brown was quite concerned because he hadn't seen you very much? From the American. Mm-hmm. Asked about you. And then, of course, you and I used to do songs together sometimes. We even used to play drums. Drums bad. Somebody work on them while you were gone. Cut them down. Or Cecil Bill, who would do a thing like that? Gummy? <laughs> he did? Well, what a shame. <laughs> Start it right off. <laughs> well, what a pity. <laughs> well, that's a shame. I was going to ask you. I thought maybe you could... <laughs> Why, he did? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I think Gami carries his work a little too far sometimes, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I know. Well, he, he wants a thing some way. He does it. Just <laughs> like, you know how he is with me about earrings. Just love to wear earrings. Can't do it. Sorry, you don't have something that you could. Is that all you have left? <coughs> what a shame. <coughs> Listen, I'm not very good at those South American numbers, but I do know a number that <coughs> I don't do that very well. I know a little song I do like, though. <coughs> about you. Would you would you help me out with it? Really would you? If you like conversing with someone who's adept at repartee, there's a most intelligent fellow who's as clever as can be. 
You may think his manner of speaking is unusual and alarming. You may think he's charmingly simple, but we think he's simply charming. Stranger than fiction, it's a well-established fact. The boy has wonderful diction, but he always talks like that. <laughs> Some explanation as to why he talked that way. We ask him for a translation. This is all that he will say. Whatever is anybody doing with my tambourine? This is needed for the Bohemian Girl, which we're doing today. Today? Why, certainly. Get your bandana and your golden earrings on now, because off we go to the gypsy camp. You don't have to be in the Bohemian Girl if you don't want to. Toy, 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 toy. I don't want to either. Toy, 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 toy. I don't think I could take. Well, come along if you're coming. Toy, 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 toy. Oh, 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 great! Oh, oh, with Cecil Bell. Oh, great! What? Uh, Cecil, oh, the gracious thing. Toy, 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 Quit while I'm ahead. Run for your life. The dam is burst. What was all the noise, Jack? Little activity backstage, Cooper. Well, I heard Cecil Bill and I wanted him. I have no idea where he went. Well, I don't know either where he is now. Cecil Bill! Cecil Bill! Fletcher, have you seen Cecil Bill? Don't speak to me. <laughs> well, what happened? Nothing, nothing at all. Just nothing at all. You getting ready for the Bohemian Girl? What? You getting ready for the Bohemian Girl? I'm not going to be in it. Oh. How come? My tambourine's busted. Yeah. <laughs> Who, if you'll excuse the expression, broke it? Hmm? I said, Who broke it? My head. <laughs> I didn't say what. I said, Who? If you see Cecil Bill, will you please talk? I'm not talking to him. From now on, we'll use an interpreter. Well, that's a fine state of affairs. You've got to do. You got the music for the Bohemian Girl already, Jack? It's somewhere in the files, Cooper. Well, we better get it out, because we're supposed to do it today. Oh, hello. Please, please. What's the matter? Please, please, please. Well, come on, tell him. Please, please, please. You're supposed to be working. You're, we're rehearsing for the Bohemian Girl. Besides, you have something very special to do today. Well, I want you to sweep the stage. <laughs> I want you to... You've got to dust the back of... <laughs> what about the spoons? The little Kukla Valley spoons? And you were supposed to polish them up nicely. I don't want them, you polish. 
They're so pretty, those little ice cream spoons. I want them to be just right. Oh. Really shouldn't use the curtain. Do it, 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 a cocoa spoon. A tiny spoon. <gasps> Too bad we don't have a fetch a rabbit spoon. We can do it! Oh, toy, 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 toy! You really like them? Toy, toy. Toy, 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 toy. Toy, 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 toy. Toy, 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 toy. Toy, 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 toy. Oh, sure, maybe. How do they do it? Well, it's a very special thing, you know. You know, Seal Test Ice Cream had these made up specially just for our show. And uh, the way uh, our Wallace and Sons, you know, makes these spoons, they're little ice cream spoons, and of course, you know, there are two sets. There's the Cuckoo set and the Ollie set, and three spoons in each set. Well, <coughs> they made them up especially for us. I mean, and it's a very beautiful job. Oh, I don't think so, Cecil Bill. It takes a lot of uh, very special work to know how to do this, you know. It's, um, well, first you have to have the design. Well, now, wait a minute. I'll get a couple of cards and show you how it's done. I think I know how. Well, now, this is a close-up of the handle of the Ollie spoon. Yeah, this is a close-up. You see all the detail work on them, how beautifully they're done. See all the little kind of, well, it's just like little engraving, you see, and that's all done. First you have to have a drawing, and then, um, then after you have a drawing, then there has to be, um, well, gee, I think they cast, but I don't know just how there's a casting made, and then in, in steel, and then in, in stone. It, it's a very complicated process, and then, of course, after it, it, each spoon is done, they, they're, they're silver plated, you know. It's the highest quality silver plate. Uh, here, I'll get the uh, cookie. Yeah, same way. Each, each one is designed and then, then uh, very carefully done, you see. And, and they're very beautiful little spoons. Toy, 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 toy. You can say that again. A toy, 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 toy. <laughs> and here are the here are the two together. You see, toy, 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 toy. Toy, toy, toy. No, you know very well that each set's made up of three spoons. The cuckoo set. Oh, just a minute. Cuckoo set has three spoons in it. One cuckoo spoon and the two simplicity patterns. Of course, the simplicity patterns nice. The always set is made up the same way. The two different sets as you can send for it. <laughs> now, while I'm at it, I thought we might ask Don Elder to tell us exactly how to get it. <laughs> right -o. Cecil Bill, here's how you can get your Kukla and Ollie ice cream spoon sets. You simply cut the seal test trademark from the top of a half-gallon package of ice cream and send it along with 50 cents in coin. Be sure to include your name and address and the set you want, either the Kukla or the Ollie set. Mail to Seal Test, Post Office Box 3446, Chicago 77, Illinois. You'd better write that down and be sure to send for your spoon set right away. <laughs> Seventy-seven. Illinois. We have several sets backstage. I don't know. I suppose he wants his very own. They're especially designed for ice cream. Well, I don't know what all the disturbance was, but I know that we're supposed to start with the Bohemian Girl. I'd like to find out just what it's all about. Ollie, when are we going to start? 
We're halfway through the show now, and if we don't get going pretty soon, we can't do the Bohemian Girl. You know what a complicated plot it is with all the ballet and everything. We never get through it anyway. Uh, maybe a shortened version would be better. Cook! Something's happened. What? Boiler burst? No. Uh, furnace has been stolen again? No. Uh, merchandise mart has been turned upside down? No. What? Fran? Yeah? Don't tell me. I want to tell you both. We can't go on with our production today. Well, I'm just heart sick. Why? You look very sad, too. I am. <laughs> oh, come on off of that, kid. Well, I'm, I was looking forward to it, but I just found out something. <clears throat> While you were going through uh, uh, the uh, little business about the spoons, I was in the control room with Gami, uh, giving him just the Mary... Was because we talked about the... No, he was very ashamed. He was crying. Was he really? Yeah. <laughs> That's Gami. Uh, so I gave him the Mary Ned, believe me. I'll bet you I did. I said, don't you ever uh, saw off a trap drum set again without letting us know. Did you tell him about me wearing earrings? Once yeah, I did too. What did he say? He said you could wear one. Between sobs, he said that. <laughs> he sticks to his guns. Anyway, <clears throat> he was sitting there directing the show. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have to wear it on the right side where it won't show. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll fix him. Anyway, he was sitting there, as I say, <clears throat> talking into the microphone or whatever he does in there. And uh, and um, the fellow, you know, Art Elkins, who's sitting next to him? Yeah. The fellow who uh, turns the knobs for the... For the audio. For the, he works the sound. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you know what? He's marking his 20th year... As a sound man for, uh, for NBC. I can't believe he doesn't look that old. Why, he doesn't. He's a real veteran. A what? <laughs> veteran. Oh, a veteran, yes, yes. Don't you understand my kind of talk? Well, I didn't. You understand, understand. Tui talk? How come you don't understand my talk? I have to learn it. Dragon talk. Well, I don't get so I will. Well, try it sometime. I will. <laughs> well, anyway, I decided right then and there, while I was in there, this is no time to be doing the Bohemian Girl. Well, that's true. Because uh, he's probably a little bit nervous and kind of it's his anniversary, mm -hmm. and he's probably, uh, he'll turn the needle so that none of our arias will come over. Hmm, that'd be a terrible thing. So, uh, but besides that, I thought it was, it's high time that we gave him, maybe we should do a little commemoration thing, a little uh, exercise, a little um, uh, something on, well, a lecture maybe, on uh, sound down through the ages, or some such thing. Down through the ages? Yeah. He's only been here 20 years. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, well, not sound. Well, sound's always been here. Oh, well, yes, yes but I never well, think of sound. I don't think of Art Elkins. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in. Everybody will hear your songs from now on. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, well, I thought it would be nice, and, and uh, you you two could uh, help me, and you could be my assistant, and I could give my lecture, my famous lecture that I've been working on, you know, getting my doctor's degree in. I didn't know that. Well, neither did I. I just made it up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you prepared to give such a lecture today? No, but you know me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that answers my question, yes. Yeah. How about it? Anything you say. Anything you say, yes, sir. Yes, anything right you Right cheek. You bet, buddy. Okay, let's do it, huh? I'll be... I'll give the lecture. I think it'll be very interesting. I wanted to do the story of Art Elkin's life. But we'd only have a half hour, and it doesn't, uh, you know, it needs 20 years for that sort of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I thought it would be better if we just did a kind of a, 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 a memorial or a commemoration or a sort of a thing to all sound engineers to be very fine at this time. Sound is not nearly thought of enough in television. Isn't even heard enough. I'll, uh, uh, I'll <laughs> do anything I can. Okay. I'll call you if I need you. And you too. You can be my little assistant. All right. Something tells me it's going too easily. <coughs> well, I'll have to get my textbooks. <coughs> Here we are. <coughs> Sound, speech, and music as related to broadcasting. <coughs> Pardon me. Good evening sound lovers. <laughs> Tonight, I'm going to bring you the first in the series of lectures about electronics and their adaptation to the modern world and the modern world's adaptation to them. <laughs> That's the case, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm sure we all know 
what sound is, don't we? But how does it work? That is the question. I won't need my textbook for a moment, because <clears throat> I'm going to give a demonstration. You no doubt have all heard of uh, uh, the way sound waves work, but this is a basic principle, so let us take it up again, shall we? <laughs> all righty. <clears throat> now, sound waves travel uh, very much like the waves in a, 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 a brook <clears throat> or a pond, like if you drop a small pebble, and that's what I would like to do now, to so take a small pebble. Now, Linwood, would you please, uh, you can just hold a glass of water down there, please. That's fine. <clears throat> and I'm going to show how sound waves, they fall in you, a uh, little spoon, uh, I mean a little, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> a little rock falls into the glass. The ripples go out concentrically from the center. <laughs> <laughs> from the center, and uh, the centrifugal attraction shows that, well, I'll try it. Now if my assistant will bring up a small stone. <coughs> <laughs> you pour that water into a pan, please? <laughs> boy. All right, let's drop it in. All set? All right, let her drop. Ow! Ooh. I beg your pardon, Linwood. <laughs> Do you mind uh, moving the pan over a little closer and handing me the stone back again, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, Linwood. <coughs> All righty, there's the pan. Now we will drop the stone in and show you how the waves go concentrically from the center. <coughs> All right, here we go. Drop it again. Stand clear! Timber! All right. You should be able to hear the gurgle of the stone as it goes down. Those are the sound waves you hear. I don't hear them terribly well, but I think that you'll be able to... Francis, no! No! You said to blow! Yeah, I know, but not in the picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's our little joke. We engineers have senses of humor, too. <laughs> oh. Now, would you mind handing me that stone again? I'd like to show you how the waves really... The sound waves, it? Can we get this straight, please? <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Down, Linwood. <coughs> <laughs> All righty, once more, and we'll show you how the waves in the water, a little uh, pond of water, uh, uh, vibrate and uh, spread just like sound waves. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. No, drop the stone. There. See? <laughs> Down waves. <coughs> Fine. All right, I won't need you for a while. <coughs> Well, sir, <coughs> sound waves are produced by the mechanical vibration of a material object in an elastic medium. Air is elastic. I'd like you to think that over. <laughs> Air is elastic. You wouldn't think that, would you? But it is. Just a moment, I'll show you. <coughs> I'm going to take a mouthful of air and stretch it. Watch. <laughs> You see? <coughs> it can be set in motion by a body vibrating in it, and its rate of vibration, and its rate, oh, well, that's not necessary. For example, if we ring an ele- well, well, let's get a bell. Assistant? Thank you. You're welcome. If we ring a bell, <coughs> uh, if we ring a bell with an ordinary electric doorbell, it's a set of vibrating it will produce a ringing sound. Well, let's just ring it. Fine. <laughs> We can prove that the sound is caused by the actual vibration of the bell metal and air around it. Well, that's really something to prove, too. <clears throat> if the bell is touched with a finger so as to damp the vibration, the ringing ceases. For instance... <laughs> a tooth won't work. <laughs> Brian! <laughs> Your yes. finger, please. Thank you. <laughs> well, this is all being very fun. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> My little assistant getting carried away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that air wasn't very elastic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, sir, <clears throat> there should be more time for this uh, little lecture, but this particular moment, I'd like to take a great jump. <clears throat> <laughs> From earliest sound waves to later sound waves. Now, <clears throat> I'd like to show you uh, what we do in a studio with our microphones. The boom, please. <clears throat> Very important to sound. The boom is a large noise. No, no, the boom is a thing that holds the microphone up so that you can maneuver it around in the picture. And it, <coughs> if you move, <coughs> it, uh, the sound engineer works, <coughs> boom boy, <coughs> boom boy, <coughs> uh, really, I said boom boy, watch it, I said boom boy, watch it. Your microphone is showing, where do you think you're going with your blooming boom? Boom boy, boom boy, lift it. I said boom boy, lift it. It's not the lighting fixture, remove it from the picture microphone. Ahoy, boom boy, they've invented gimmicks to manipulate the boom to lift it up and down and to and fro. I'll be happy when some inventor makes a gadget and I hope it soon. So the microphone won't show. There it is again. Boom boy. Shadows. I said boom boy. Shadows. Your notes you are getting because of silhouetting and your name won't be. Just you wait and see. No, your name won't be Boom Boy. From the shadows I've been getting, I would take a chance on betting that every day is Groundhog's Day. Because of you and what you do, you are through. Pick up your boom and leave the room. Well, I trust that that will give you a slight idea of the sound and uh, vibrations and some of the problems we have. Francis, <clears throat> would you join me, please, in concluding this lecture? Anything. I would... Koopa? Yes, sir, Chief. I would like to do a little audio test right now so everyone can know the meaning of sound. Get the best. Get seal test. Get the best, get seal test. Do do do, do do do, do 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 do. See what we have for you. Get the best, get the best, get seal test. Good and delicious too. Why? Our ice cream strawberry tarts. Vanilla ice cream. Seal test, of course. Red ripe strawberries, pureed, you know. And real whipped cream. It's, it's wonderful. wonderful. Ask your seal test dealer for seal test ice cream strawberry tarts. So good. Goodness, why don't you? Get the best, get the best, get seal test. America's favorite ice cream. This is Bert Tilstrom thanking you and be thanking you and be thanking you be Boom Boy, watch it! <laughs> Kukla, Fran, and Ollie are brought to you from Chicago by divisions of National Dairy Products Corporation, makers of fine seal test products. NBC Television.